I want to share some early thoughts about the Super Bowl. Let's be clear about one thing. I expect the LA Rams to win this football game. It's hard to count out Joe Burrow entirely. Uh, it's improbable that he wins, but not impossible. Let's be clear about that. Like Cincinnati has a chance, and I would be terrified if, man, if you're an LA Rams fan and the Bengals are allowed to hang around in the second half, and if it's a close game in the fourth quarter, oh boy, I would not feel good if I was a Rams fan. And I will be rooting openly for the Bengals. I, I hope that Joe Burrow and Cincinnati wins this football game. No offense, to LA Rams fans, but I... I'm all aboard the Joe Burrow hype train and what's going on in Cincinnati to go from worst football team in the NFL two years ago to, you know, here in a Super Bowl. Unbelievable. I love that. I'm rooting for them openly. I do not have a lot of confidence, though, that they will win this football game. Uh, my big concern is that the Rams defensive line is unbelievable. And we've seen teams throughout the playoffs get a ton of pressure on Joe Burrow with just a four-man rush. And... This is the best four-man rush that Cincinnati is going to play in the entire postseason with Aaron Donald and Vaughn Miller. It's horrifying. And I, I, just, I just see images and visions of Aaron Donald sacking Joe Burrow over and over and over again. I don't like that vision, but that really is kind of what I see happening here. And I'm afraid of that. I, I think that matchup, Aaron Donald and Vaughn Miller against the Bengals offensive line is a scary one. Another fun matchup is Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase against Rams corner Jalen Ramsey. That's going to be awesome. That's a battle for the ages between them. And the pressure really is all on L.A. in this Super Bowl. They're playing a Super Bowl in their home stadium, and they're the team that went all in on this Super Bowl more than any other team in the NFL. They traded for Matthew Stafford. They traded for Von Miller. They traded for Sony Michelle. They signed Odell Beckham Jr. They have no first-round picks for years. And it's a game that the Rams cannot afford to lose. Meanwhile, Cincinnati has nothing to lose. They're not even the team that was expected to be here. And if I'm a Rams fan, that confidence, that carefree nature, that would terrify me if I was rooting for the Rams. Because, again, a Cincinnati team with nothing to lose— they have beat the expectations and beat the odds over and over and over again. And the Rams should be the favorite. They're the better team, in my opinion. But if the Rams allow Cincinnati to hang around, oh, boy, they got a great kicker. They got a great quarterback, a lot of confidence. That would really scare me. I don't think it'll get there. I think that really – I see the Rams winning by, like, 17 points because I think that defensive line is going to have too much pressure and, and finally get home on Joe Burrow. And um, I know Joe Burrow won a game – where he was sacked nine times, but that's against Ryan Tannehill, a quarterback who threw three interceptions and played really bad. Unless Matthew Stafford has a horrible game. I think the Rams win this football game uh, coming up in two weeks in the Super Bowl. I do have a fun thought, though. Uh, this is the second Super Bowl appearance in five years for Sean McVay. He is 36 years old. He was hired at 30, which is crazy. It's, a, uh, it's so cool, like the trajectory his career has had. Now, the opposing coach, the Bengals head coach, Zach Taylor, spells his name the right way, Z-A-C. It's the only way to spell Zach. That's my name. It's awesome. Um, Zach Taylor's 38 years old. These are two really young coaches. And by the way, Zach Taylor used to be the quarterback coach for the Rams in L.A. before he took the head coaching job in Cincinnati. And there's one other massive storyline here. Not only is it Matthew Stafford going to his first ever Super Bowl, but the storyline, I think, is that's not being talked about enough, in my opinion. I, I don't. I guess I don't really know what people are saying. I don't watch any other sports shows, but I, I know that Andrew Whitworth is a guy. Everyone talks about how Stafford came to LA to win a Super Bowl. No, Andrew Whitworth five years ago came to LA to win a Super Bowl. Andrew Whitworth is a left tackle for the LA Rams. He came from Cincinnati. He spent nine years in Cincinnati, underachieving, not winning, not happy. Came to L.A. for a good life, living in L.A., wanting to win a Super Bowl. They almost won one. They lost to the Patriots with Jared Goff. Now here, Andrew Whitworth at 40 years old, playing left tackle. People talk about how Tom Brady is unbelievable for playing quarterback at 44 years old. What about playing one of the most physical positions in the entire NFL? Andrew Whitworth was playing left tackle at 40. Blocking guys like Nick Bosa in the NFC Championship game. Unbelievable. And he has an opportunity to now win a Super Bowl at 40 years old and beat his former football team, 
the Cincinnati Bengals. And that, to me, is a massive storyline that cannot go underreported for the LA Rams. Andrew Whitworth, man, what a, what a career he's had, and how cool would it be for him to go out on top, beating his former team in a Super Bowl in his home stadium, in his home city, L.A. That's, that's an amazing story right there. That's what I love. That's, that's what football's all about to me, these great storylines like that. OBJ in his first Super Bowl, Matthew Stafford in his first Super Bowl, but how cool would it be to see Andrew Whitworth win a Super Bowl in probably his final year in the NFL against his former football team. That. I love that.